Hello there. If you want to have a high score in your biology during your jump examinations, then this video is for you. I am Stanley and I welcome you to the Studentship YouTube channel. Reading is one thing that most people can do. But what really matters in an exam setting is when you read the right stuff. This is paramount because reading the right material and the right topics is the main secret to exam success. So today guys, I'll be walking you down through some topics which are frequently asked in jam biology examination. So make sure you like this video, share with your friends and also subscribe to this channel also. So guys, these topics, I categorize them into four. So I have one, two, three, four. Okay? First among them is cell. Second is ecology. Thirdly is genetics and evolution. And lastly is others. Okay, so we have four categories of the topics. I have cell, I have ecology, I have genetics and evolution, and I have others. So we're discussing each of the topics singly. So our first topic is cell. Okay, so I'm, I'm expressing this in a red marker owing to its high importance. This topic is is, is like an umbrella topic that have some other subtopics in them. So on that cell, you are supposed to know about the cell organelle, the forms in which cells exist. You also have to know about the organization of life. You also have to know about living and non-living things, since cell is the bedrock of living things. So, cell is like an umbrella topic that has the subtopics in them. Also, lastly, you have to know about taxonomy in the cell. Nice. So, this cell is one of the most frequently asked topic in jam biology examinations. So, make sure you read up the cells before you go for your jam examinations. So, secondly, I also express this in a right marker owing to its importance also, is ecology. Ecology. Okay? Okay, so, so like cell also, this ecology is an umbrella topic that has other subtopics in them. Okay, you know, ecology means the interaction between man and its environment. So in ecology, we'll have topics like habitats, we'll have pollution, we'll have um, biomes, we'll have um, ecosystem, which comprises of the food chain, we have energy levels, energy and pyramid levels. So these are some of the subtopics in ecology. Nice. So if you check, um, so this, so these are some of the subtopics in ecology. This is so important because ecology is also one of the most frequently asked questions in jam biology examinations. Nice. So the third one is genetics and variation. Genetics and variation. Also, I will express this in my red marker due to its high importance. Genetics and variation. Okay? So, under genetics and variation, we have some other subtopics like sex link traits, theory of hereditary, Mendel's theory. Also have the theory of evolution. Okay? That's the one of um, Darwin, we have the one of Lamarck, etc. Okay? Also, here I also have variation and adaptation for survival. Okay? So these are some of the subtopics in genetics and variation. Okay? So before we go over to the next topic, which, which I call the others, okay? Always remember that these three topics that I've expressed with my red marker, which include cell, genetics and variation and ecology. So if you are preparing for your biology and your job examinations, you are 100% sure that you are going to see these three topics in your exam hall. 
So make sure you read them before going for your CHAMP biology examinations. Nice. So lastly, I have the topic I call orders. So this orders is an umbrella for a lot of topics. So in orders, I have respiration. Okay, that's the internal and external respiration. I have circulatory system. You talk about the circulation in plants, that's the xylem and the phloem circulation in plants, and also the circulation in animals. Okay, taking cognizance about the blood groups in, in animals. Okay, so you have plants, okay, also have animals, okay, the blood groups. Okay, we also have excretion. You have to know about excretion, okay, you know about the excretion organs in, um, in animals. Okay, now also the next um, topic we have here is reproduction. Okay, reproduction which can be sexual or asexual. You, you have to know about how um, plants and animals they reproduce. Okay, also this has to go together with growth. Talking about mitosis and meiosis. Also we have nervous system and hormonal system. This is a system of our body hormones and our body nervous control. Okay. Also, we have disease and parasites. And parasites. So here we we'll talk about the viral infections, the bacteria infections, the um, protozoan infections. Okay, and their causative agents. Okay, because they go together hand in hand. Also, we we'll have you know about the eye. You know about aves, that's birds. Etc. Okay, so um, guys, um, you must always remember, okay, that this is not a substitute for the jump syllables, okay, but rather this this this, this tutorial is about the frequency of some topics in biology, okay, the rate of occurrence of these topics in biology. So this is not like a total substitute for biology syllable. Make sure you employ these topics and read them up, and you see yourself scoring so high in your jump biology examinations check up on this channel to see some tutorials on some of those topics I have listed. So if you have any question of any type, let me know in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Make sure you like this video also and share with your friends. I wish you good luck in examinations. For now, bye-bye.